Right campers, welcome back. So today, just a quick video, we're going to insulate and sound it in the two front doors. Now this is a relatively simple job, sit back, enjoy, let's get started. Okay guys, so I did the driver side yesterday, so today we're just going to show you on the passenger side because I kind of learned what I need to do and how it works on that side off camera so that I can show you on this side. Obviously guys, it's the same, so it'll what works on this side will work on that side, or at least should. One thing I will say is, the electric switch on the driver's side has got three plugs on it, well it has on this vehicle anyway, instead of this one potentially probably has only got one, because obviously you've got the mirror adjustment, you've got the multiple uh, window adjustment, and the locking. So because of that you've got three plugs, whereas this will only have one, and I found that my, if you want to take it off first, on the driver's side it's better. The switch, I found that mine levers up from the front because it levers up at the front and pulls out because it mine hooks in and sits into the panel. So bear that in mind. I'm not going to show you because like I said, I've already done that, but that's just that. So tools that you'll need for this job is some WD-40 cloth. You will see why as we're going along. A trim tool. A Phillips screwdriver, quite a big size one ideally, a T25 Torx screwdriver or ratchet bit, plastic trim tool. Now as normal, this isn't what exactly you need to do the job, this is just what you may benefit from having or using. You can use other things, flat blade screwdrivers, different trim tools etc etc. This is just what I've got, so that's a brief understanding for you guys what you may need. First we've got this plastic panel here. Now mine have both previously been off, so they're not in the best kind of condition. However, I've got my plastic trim tool and I put it underneath the bottom there. Taking taking your time guys, being very careful, being very delicate, and I found that mine kind of clips up there, clips up like that off. Now one side is already broken, you potentially may break these, both of mine had one side broken so I can't confirm how easy it is to not break them, however mine have got one side broke, they've always clipped back on quite good, I didn't break them but I found that you want to lever more upwards than outwards so I found it comes out that way better than that way. Now with your T25, you'll find there's three screws along the bottom of the door card and there's one screw in here. Yet again guys, this is my vehicle, this is a T5, this is what I'm finding, this is what I'm presuming you will find, however, adjust slightly to what you find or what you've got, but generally I would imagine they're quite the same across the board. So remove these four. Put those in a safe place that you're not going to lose them. Now inside this handle I've got two Phillips screws. On the driver's side I had two Torx screws. So yet again roll with what you've got. Now a magnetic screwdriver will help with these to get them back out. I'm going to leave the electric window switch in because it's a passenger side, it should only have one plug on. I'm going to unplug that when I take the door card off. You will also have to unhook the cable from the door opening latch. So we'll do that. I'm probably going to struggle to film that. Get a tool like this up behind the clips and pop them out. Or if you've got your one hand on the door and your other hand here and give it a bit of a pull like that. You can pop the clips. As I've mentioned guys, this has been off before. Other people have worked on this. So they might be a bit stiffer for you. But just give them a bit of a pull. One thing to note is you've got your door locking pin to indicate whether it's locked or not. This will remain on. So you need to pull the door card over this. So once you've pulled the door card out like that. And you've got all the clips popped. You'll see that there's a channel here, the window sits in. So now you want to get under here and get here and pull the bottom of the door card 
out and then pull it up clearing this once you've done that don't pull it away okay guys so when you pull the door card up and it's still attached you'll have this if it's the passenger side to disconnect from the electric window switch which just pushes that you push that tab down there and then that'll pull off and then this here this is for the door handle now can you see that hook remember that hook and can you see this plastic kind of claw the hook goes in here the edge of the claw goes over the back of this hooking it in so now you will have this what we're going to do is i did the driver's side yesterday the way that i did it was i actually removed this door panel off now this is quite a bigger job it makes this job a lot more difficult a lot harder because you've got to disconnect the window and i actually took the window out because this has got the window regulator fitted to it so you've got a few acts you have to drop the window down unbolt it through these access holes and then either tape the window up or take it out and it's it's a lot more it's a lot more of a thorough job it's better you can do a slightly better job but the reason for, I'm not going to show that in this video is one I, I think it's a little bit technical for everybody to do and I think the way that I'm going to do this everyone could do so I wouldn't want people to drop the glass or not fit the glass properly trying to do it the way that I was going to do it so what we're going to do is we're going to remove these torques from the speaker so the door speaker is actually held in with a T20. So you'll need a T20 also. So if you remove the door speaker, this has got aftermarket speakers in guys. So yet again, you might find something slightly different. Yet again, aftermarket. So they've just got two cheap connectors. So guys, the reason why I mentioned the, D, the WD-40 and the cloth is if you look inside that channel there there's hair there's dust there's bits now's the time to go round and degrease panel wipe wd-40 clean all this down and also in your door card this is very dusty very dirty so go around that clean it all make it nice do the same with the door, take a bit of pride in your job and do a good job. So now guys, for this part, you're going to need your sound detonator, your insulation of choice, a roller, decorated roller and some scissors. So obviously guys, this is just the way that I'm doing it. I'm not saying this is a must. I'm not saying this is the best way or the only way. This is just how I'm doing my van. I think it works. I can see and feel the improvement, especially in the noise closing the door from the driver's side, which I've already done. So I can definitely guarantee that it will give you some sort of improvement. Hopefully it will give you some road noise and a bit of warmth improvement also. This is just my method, the way that I'm doing it. So now guys, you wanna cut your sound detonating up. It's your choice what strips you go for. I'm gonna go for a piece about that big say and I'm gonna go for two and maybe even three of those now the reason why we removed the door speaker was to give us an access hole an access port to which we can put the sound detonating against the exterior part panel of the door it gives us a hole to actually get in and push it right down the back and get them on nice and even and do a good job because you'll see here, even VW factory will put them on. Doesn't have to fill the whole panel, but they'll put them on to stop vibration, to deaden the sound. And I mean, look at that. They haven't put them on straight or even. Whether that's because there's a theory behind them being off that it will dampen the panel um, better, or whether it's just because the guy who does that in the factory he snapped that he fits a thousand dollars a day and he just whacks them on or it could be a female but either way don't 
concern or don't worry too much if it's not perfect it's a nice warm hot day today so it's activating the glue and the sticky on those already if it's not if it's cold where you are then I recommend getting a heat gun and heating it up and running over them when they're on the panel like that just to activate the glue so we'll fit that now and then we'll refit the door speaker and then we'll start cleaning all this down and then getting ready to fit the insulation God, the glue is sticky. Right, first one going in. I'm going to aim for about here. If you grab a bit of tissue or put a glove on, like a cotton glove, it will allow you to run over the panel with less friction to push it down so it grips and bites the outer panel easier and better because you know you've got friction with your bare skin make sure you push it the whole surface area you can't get to the whole surface area where you've put it don't put it in that far test it first it's better to have it over slightly and to have pushed the whole surface area against the panel than what it is in more in the center but only half of it's touching on the glue that's not what you want if you remember even the VW stuff guys, they're not perfect, they're not square, they're kind of just whacked on. So it's better to have them both over a bit with the glue and the bond touching the panel all the way around than what it is to not. Little decorative roller. You can, if you want, outer kind of speaker holder. I don't know if that's VW factory or not because I've got aftermarket speakers. But if you take that out, that will give you a slightly wider hole and it will give you a better angle to get in because you want to have less depth holding you out so you'll be able to get in more. But I'm making do, but you can remove that to make it a little bit easier. Now the bottom one, gone for a little bit bigger on the bottom. So I put it like that so I can put it down in here, then put it flat on the panel, then let go of it and then push it down. Now it is a little bit tricky guys, work with it, be patient, do a good job, take this off, do a nice job, because trust me when I say this now, I did the other one different, and this is a little bit tricky, but it's a lot less tricky and it's a lot easier than removing the regulator and the glass to not really get too much if any of a better result so definitely take your time do a nice job oh, too old to be on my knees <laughs> can put the window down first to do this top seal cleaning if you want doesn't really make much of a difference it makes it a little bit easier but you can do it without so now simply what we're going to do is we're going to cut this up and we're going to just spray glue stick it inside this well here and I'm just going to put a panel there and a piece up there and that's pretty much it so we'll do that now okay so now when you're at this point I've spray glued on there and on there yet again just want to touch on this is as much or as little as you want to do some will want to do more some will want to do less that's a personal choice it's completely up to you some will stick thicker or better sound deadening or insulation behind that's up to you this is how I'm doing it this is how I feel it's good enough for my van and I'm happy with how it's going so now I need to build the door card back on it's the complete reverse process to removing it making sure everything's clipped in making sure the clips are reset making sure everything's good to go making sure the electric window works handle works everything before we shut the door making sure it's in the correct ridge at the top reference on the other side if you get confused so let's fit that now Hook that in, noticing that the metal hook at the end of the cable faces up, so it hooks in from the bottom, so that allows the cable 
to run underneath. Before you start hammering on the door card, just make sure that all the clips look like they're ready to go in the holes, which they are. Now, with your other hand, hold the door, remember, don't push off the hinge, and then and done. Now, handle's working, now's the time to put your ignition on, check the window goes all the way up and all the way down, and then reverse the process. Double check one last time that everything's in, it's sitting nicely, nothing's proud, nothing's forced out, everything as located as it should. Remember this, push it down instead of there we go. solid. And that's it. So tidy up, panel wipe this, degrease it, give it a clean, um, wash it down, whatever you need to do. But basically, guys, this job is now finished. Doors are insulated, doors are sound at end, doors are done. That's the cabin part completely finished now, completely done, ready for us to move on to the back of the van, to the back of the bus however you want to say it. I hope you enjoyed this video, hope it added value, and I hope it's allowed you to do your own. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.